All right, hey, what's up? This is Salad from Salad Bowl Gaming. Um, we've reached level 15 on our Stam Sork, so I wanted to do a video uh, level 15 basically because from 15 to 50, you're, it's pretty much the same. There's no there's no change. 15 is a new milestone. You get um, your second bar, so you get another six abilities to use. So I wanted to do a video to point out. Um, so in the last video, I said that I was going to switch out. I have a four piece ash and grip which as you can see right there I've only got my four piece then a four piece uh, night silence so I can get that extra weapon crit um, because uh, with a stam sork um, from my understanding this is my first stam sork that I've actually built correctly and from the research I've done uh, you want crit because the point of a stam sork is mobility um, you can get in get out real fast you can do damage and then get out because you're going to be squishy as well so what you want to do is you want to have a lot of crits. So you want to hit hard from the beginning. You don't want to stack up dots and all this stuff. That's a, that's a uh, Dragon Knight. Th those are the, the dot dealers. Um, but with a Stam Sork, you want to get in, hit hard with Crit Rush, get in there, and get out. Um, meant to bust up a lot of, of raids in Cyrodiil. Um, so you want to be able to, like I said, get in, get out. Um, now also, uh, you'll see that I have my 5-1-1. I have, so I have my, I have five medium armor, one heavy, and one light. So what that does for me is it allows me to level up my, all of my armors. So I have light armor 11, 19, because I have more medium armor on, so that's going to level faster, which is okay. And then I have level, and I have 11 uh, heavy armor. I also now have, I have 23 two-handed and 13 bow. Which the only reason I have 13 bow is because I always had lethal arrow or snipe on my bar throughout the entire time. But now I have a second bar, so now I can have some more bow abilities on the bar. Um, also, at level 15, I still have, this is my, this is my two-handed bar. But I also have a a, uh, a bow ability on there for the reason of if I get a kill on my two-handed side, I still want to level my bow. Switch to my bow side, I have dizzying swings. I have a two-handed ability because if I get a kill with my bow, I still want to level my two-hand. You always want to continue to level um, all of your abilities at the same time. So. Um, with that being said, I have it all switched out. I have it all changed. Um, if I go and I switch to here, which this is the dressing room, I completely recommend having this uh, add-on for switching out of your your um, uh, rapids that you get in Alliance War right here. Helps you go faster, increases your speed, your movement speed by 30%, um, which is great for all around grinding um, but I, I completely recommend dressing room or, or an add-on of the same if you have a preference um, but as you can see my abilities I have more uh, two-handed abilities on this side than I do and I have more bow abilities on this side than I have two-handed ability abilities which is fine that's gonna happen so, you made it to 15, now what? What do you got to do? You can do one of two things. You can find a good grind spot, which, grind spots, if you have the Rothgar um, DLC, I recommend two places. Old Orsinium and, where's that? Um, Rekindle Lift, right here. So here and here. I recommend those two places. Um, if you have the Imperial City at uh, DLC, I recommend the sewers in the Imperial City because two reasons: um, it trains you on how to play PvP if that's what you're looking for. If you're going to be a PvP, I recommend going to the going to the sewers. There's always people in there, so you should be able to find a group. Um, you don't have to go in by yourself, but it trains you to think like a PvP. -er if you're in there, you're always looking out for people. Um, if you're if you're gonna grind in in a PVE location, 
you're just gonna go in there and kill stuff. But if you're in here, if you're in um, I see, you're, you're thinking about uh, there could be somebody around that corner. It trains you. It gets you ready for PvP. You also get uh, Telvar stones, um, and you get alliance points, which those are two PvP uh, currencies. Telvar stones are sold in uh, the sewers, or you use them in the sewers, and alliance points are used out in the Cyrodiil, out in the big PvP area. I will end up going in there um, because I've already done all of the main quests. Now, in my original video, I said that you should do the original quests. I recommend that still. If this is your first character, if this is your first character, you've never done a character before, I don't recommend grinding. You miss out on so much of the game. Like I'd say, 95% of the game you miss out on because you grind. You you're grinding. You don't get very much XP by by running dungeons. So this dungeon finder, you don't get very much XP except for the first one. Um, so a random normal every 24 hours it cycles. So like I did mine last night. So it's not going to be done till or it's not going to be ready till tomorrow night. Um, but yeah. You have two options, you either grind or you quest. If this is your first character, I recommend questing. If it's not your first character and you've already done all the quests, I recommend grinding to 50. Also, if this is not your very first character and you have champion points, make sure you allocate your champion points. Even though you're not level 50, you can still allocate champion points you've already received from other characters. Like I have 600 in right now. I'm an overpowered level 15. Um, new people aren't going to have that advantage. I definitely recommend it. It helps you. I mean, you can look look at my 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 uh what do you call it? The stam or the stam regen. Stam recovery. I'm at 1551. Not everybody's going to have that at level 15. So, yeah, that's uh that's it. That's all I got. Um I will be making more videos. I'll have a lot more uh PVP videos. Um I'm going to post some uh, dungeon videos of me running dungeons. I did white gold tower last night on this guy on normal. Obviously you can't do vet until you hit 45. Um, so I will be posting videos about that. I, I might post the white gold tower one. I'm not sure. I was having lag issues. Uh, I was jumping all over so I don't know if I'm going to, going to post that one or not. But I will be posting more videos. So stay tuned.